This is Rumbot, and we're covering the Canvas panel in Unreal Engine UI. If you find these widget tips useful, hit subscribe. In this video, we'll explore the Canvas panel widget directly inside a user widget blueprint. The Canvas panel is Unreal Engine's most flexible layout container, and often the default route for most UI elements. Unlike layout boxes that auto-arrange their children, the Canvas panel lets you position each widget exactly where you want it, using absolute positioning. It's especially useful when designing HUDs, floating windows, menus, or any interface where elements shouldn't move around automatically. By default, the Canvas panel fills the entire widget space, making it perfect as a root container. But that space is actually controlled by two drop-downs in the designer view. On the left, the screen size drop-down lets you simulate how your UI will look on different devices phones, tablets, monitors, or even specific models like the iPhone 12 or Galaxy S10. On the right, the preview bounds mode lets you choose between options like fill screen, custom, or desired. Fill screen expands the canvas to the available space. Custom lets you manually define its size. Desired sizes the canvas based on its content. Inside the canvas, each widget you add, like a button or image, gets its own canvas slot and this slot gives you precise control over layout. Let's break down its key properties. Anchors, these define the reference point for the widget. You can anchor to the top left, center, bottom right, or even stretch between edges. Anchors determine what part of the screen or container your widget's position and size are based on. Position X and Y, these are the offsets relative to the anchor point. So if you anchor to the top left and set X to 100 and Y to 50, your widget will appear 100 pixels to the right and 50 pixels down from that anchor. Size X and Y, this controls the width and height of the widget. You can set this explicitly or use size to content if the widget should resize automatically based on its children or text. Alignment, this adjusts the widget's pivot point relative to its anchor. For example, 0.5 in both X and Y centers the widget on the anchor. This is especially useful when anchoring to the center of the screen. Zorder, this sets the layering priority. Higher numbers render on top of lower ones. So if a button overlaps a background image, you can change Zorder to control which one appears in front. What's also useful is that you can nest canvas panels inside other canvas panels. For example, your root widget can be a full screen canvas, and inside it you might place another canvas panel that handles a floating panel, a pop-up, or a custom window. This allows for localized absolute positioning, even inside more complex UI structures. This kind of nesting gives you both structure and freedom. And it works especially well when combined with animation, scripting, or when building drag and drop panels. In short, the canvas panel is the backbone of most UMG layouts. Mastering its slot system, anchors, and alignment controls is essential to building flexible and responsive interfaces in Unreal Engine. That's the canvas panel. Hit subscribe for more Unreal UI lessons.